Hello everyone. Welcome to Anthropology Analytica. I am Dr. Arjun Bopanna, Anthropology Faculty at Insights IAS. In today's video, let us try to understand this concept of holism in anthropology. It is a very important value or important feature of anthropology, the concept of holism. So anthropology, unlike other discipline, as you all are aware, that it tries to study every aspect of the society, every aspect of mankind. So therefore, it is a holistic study of mankind, right? In this context, let us try to get more information or get more ideas about this concept of holism, right? So in this uh, video, let us try to understand what is holism, holism as an I value, holism as a research methodology in anthropology, its utility and some anthropologists who have uh, done studies. I mean, you will find many anthropologists. So just some of the names that you'll have to mention in case this idea of holism is going to be written in your answer. So holism, it derives its, uh, you know, uh, it uh, uh, comes from the Greek word holos. Okay, holos, which means totality or entirety. Okay, so holism means totality. So um, it is an idea that all the properties of a given system, whether it is human system, whether it is biological system, social system, uh, everything, anything. So the property of a given system that cannot be determined or explained by its component parts alone. So that means you cannot study the uh, system from its parts. Okay, so you need to study it as a whole. You cannot study a single component or you cannot study a single part. Okay, so you need to study the entire system. Okay, you need to study the entire system as a whole, right? So that is what is holism. So studying the system as a whole, okay, and not in its part. Uh, so that is what is holism. So in practical term, holism also refers to a kind of multifaceted approach to study of culture. In other words, all constituent part of a society must be seen as an interacting with and influencing all other. So if you want to study kinship, for example, in anthropology, kinship cannot be studied in isolation. It has to be studied with other aspects of society, whether it is political system, whether it is religion, whether it is family, okay, and whether it is environment. See, for example, kinship system varies as per the environment. So if, say, for example, a society is more pastorally oriented, then there is going to be matrilineal society. If it is a horticulture based society, then it is going to be a maternal matrilineal society. Right. So kinship gets affected by economic environment, political factor, etc. And therefore, it in turn influences those institutions also. So if you want to really understand kinship, then you better study it from an integrated whole and rather than studying a single part or a single component of study. So this is the basic idea of holism. Okay. And holism as a value is very important for anthropology because this is what distinguishes anthropology from other discipline. So anthropological research focuses on holistic study of any system, whether you're talking about biology. So even when we study about biology, of humans, we study it in relationship with culture and society. Similarly, when we study culture and society, we relate it with biology. Even if we're talking about evolution, evolution also is studied from the biocultural perspective. Okay, so uh, one of the advantages or one of the methodology which, uh, uh, which aims at achieving holism is fieldwork and participatory observation through which anthropologists try to study the interrelationship the interrelationship between different aspect of culture. So in this way, we are able to identify the relationship between various aspects, okay, like ecology, subsistence pattern, economic aspects, okay, social organization like family and kinship. So this ultimately allows us to unravel the uh, importance of various relationships within a system and ultimately towards understanding the general principles and construct 
theory. So that is how holism as a value is very important. So we can also quote uh, in this context, Franz Bose, for example, who started this uh, whole idea of studying a society in a holistic manner. Whereas if you recollect the classical evolutionists, they focused on specific areas of culture. Either they studied religion, either they studied uh, uh, language or kinship, etc. They did not study it from a holistic perspective. Whereas Franz Bose, right? So he introduced the scientific rigor to study anthropological, uh, to study society or culture from a holistic perspective. And that is why even in American anthropology, so uh, we have uh, uh, cultural studies, biological studies, linguistic study, archaeological studies, which are all studied in an integrated holistic manner. That is what distinguishes an American anthropology from their, um, you know, European counterpart. So that uh, you can mention. And then you can mention several other anthropologists like Malinowski, who studied, uh, uh, you know, Trobian Islanders and field work and studied every aspect of it. So you can give quote the example of Kula. So Kula may be studied from a ceremonial exchange point of view, but Malinowski studied it from an integrated point of view where he studied its impact on religion, its impact on uh, on society, on political system, etc. Right. So you give these examples and uh, try to appreciate these examples from uh, how a holistic approach was used. Uh, and holism as a research methodology, you can quote even field work and participatory observation where we try to interrelate economic, social, political aspects, gender relationship, historical, etc. In this, you can quote examples of culture personality studies where Japanese studies were done in terms of uh, trying to understand their culture from every aspect, historical aspects, economic aspects, gender dynamics, child upbringing, etc. Now, utility is, uh, holism is very important for anthropology. So, um, uh, you know, it tries to help us understand uh, culture from an entire, uh, you know, uh, from from uh, the holistic point of view, meaning that instead of studying one or two aspects, which provides us only a limited knowledge about a particular culture, which may sometimes be misleading, we may re, uh, interpret it very differently. Unlike that, holistic anthropology tries to bring or bring out the real uh, idea and uh, um, uh, you know the reason behind certain phenomena. Similarly, it also has an application uh, applied aspect also. Uh, for example, if we are trying to bring about development uh, of tribals or indigenous people etc or wants to in want to introduce programs of change, then we need to uh, understand uh, a particular society in a holistic manner. So you can write that also. So utility is to understand culture and also in applied anthropology where if you want to really try to bring about social change, uh, etc. See, for example, here you can also remember uh, M.N. Srinivas's, uh, sorry, uh, uh, L.P. Vaidyarthi's concept of NMS complex, right? So where tribal development uh, was not taking place as expected line. So L.P. Vaidyarthi tried to understand the reason behind it and came up with this concept called as uh, NMS complex, okay, uh, nature man spirit complex, where uh, they try to understand the integrated relationship between man, the kinship relationship, the nature, the uh, agricultural practices and the spirits, the Gusains who live in these uh, in their hills. So this is also a holistic study which helped to solve uh, tribal uh, discontent. So this kind of utility helps anthropology uh, be very useful in trying to bring about positive change in human society. So these are various ideas about holism. Holism as a value, holism as a research methodology, holism as a part of applied anthropology. Uh, so this can be itself asked as a 10 marker. Holism itself can be asked as a 10 marker or when you're writing the features, unique aspects of anthropology or somewhere in methodology in anthropology, you can definitely quote holism and explain a little bit about holism. Is that understood? So this is about the concept of holism. I hope this uh, video was useful. In the next video, let us try to solve this question. Critically discuss the contribution of Ruth Benedict to the study of culture. Thank you for watching.